In this video, I'll show you how to get started with uh, a kitchen display system, or KDS, uh, for flash order and set it up to make sure that your square orders are showing up on the KDS. It's really easy to do. First, from your main menu, all you need to do is tap on one of your locations, the location where you want to launch the KDS. Scroll down to this middle operation section. The very first option is Fulfillment KDS. A subscription is required. The kitchen display screen is free with, a, with any other subscription, like a kiosk subscription or an app subscription. Or if you have just a standalone KDS, uh, then you would need to have a standalone KDS subscription from Flash Order. You can see that there's a green check mark on subscription, so I, I have a subscription. I just need to tap the KDS 2.0 button to launch. You can see that I already have an order that is shown. This is your base. KDS uh, screen. <clears throat> the default view is for the cards to run from left to right and for them to take up uh, kind of a column view where the column tapes up, takes up the whole page. If there were orders that, or if there were enough items <clears throat> to go to the bottom of this uh, window or cell, then you could scroll to see the remaining items. You can also uh, change that layout to be however you would want. There's a default to choose between flow horizontally and grid. You can see that a grid there, you can change the number of rows so that you can actually customize for as many orders as you want to show on this main screen. For, for our purposes, we'll keep with flow horizontally uh, and just keep it at that for right now. Uh, any changes that you want to make on the KDS, and I already tapped this once, would be done at the KDS settings, which are those three horizontal dots at the type, top right-hand corner of the KDS. I'll just tap on that, and I'll show you the one setting to make sure that your square orders are going to populate automatically. Tap on Order Filters, which is near the bottom, and then you want to look at the Require, so the second to bottom, Require Row, and you need to have Submitted Order checked. As long as submitted order is checked, then your square orders will show automatically. And I'll do just a sample square transaction right now so that you can see that. Okay, I'll go ahead and enter a test transaction into the square point of cell. I'll just do that for an egg salad sandwich. Enter test as my name and I'll tender it. So it does not show up on the flash order KDS until after the order is tendered. And once that sale is complete, you can see that it does display on the Flash Order KDS. It shows the name at the top left, which remember was test, and it shows that it was from the register as opposed to the kiosk with the menu items down below. Remember that you, to get that to show up, you need to be on submitted order under your order filters. I'll show you that one more time. Require just needs to show submitted order. So that's a basic entry into, or introduction into the Flash Order KDS and how it works. I guess I should note to, to cross out an item or to mark it complete, you simply tap on that item. And if I wanted to bump the order, a simple single tap will do that. Recall at the top right brings um, that back. I'll clear those again. And I just have my one kiosk order left in queue. So that's how you use the Flash Order KDS. Very simple um, to set up with the Square POS and a really effective way to manage your orders in the back of your house.